Okay, good day everyone. So today we're going to make a tactical pillow. Excuse me. What a tactical pillow is, it's a pillow that you can store stuff in. So while you're sleeping, uh, either outside, in a tent, um, wherever, you know where your possessions are. You don't have to have your wallet and your watch and stuff beside you or out of reach, or especially your keys. You can have them safely enclosed within your pillow so that it's right beside your head. And if you're in a sleeping bag and the such, it'll be in the sleeping bag with you underneath. So there's no worry about anything getting lost, carried away, stolen, anything silly like that. The other good thing, oh, sorry, Willow is going to come around quite a bit because I am on the table. One of the best things is no one will know it's there because these things really don't exist. You kind of have to make them. And the ones that do exist are so blatantly obvious that they're there, well, they might as well not be. So I'm going to show you kind of the stealthy way to do it. Um, there's two ways you can do it. You can take a pocket from your old jeans. Like let's say you have an old pair of jeans like this. Just cut a pocket out and I'll be doing that as well. And after Sorry, after that you kind of sew it in, and I'll show you that as well, and I'll show you where to sew it in. The other way you can do it is you can get yourself uh, a change purse, a rather large change purse, uh, from the dollar store or from a lady store or anywhere, and sew that in. The only thing with that though is you have a zipper, and zippers are easy to see. So it's kind of, if on one case, uh, you can add uh, double-sized Velcro, stitch that in so you have a Velcro to keep it nice and in place. Or what you can do is you can have just a free folding pocket like I like. Or you can have the zipper. But zipper I wouldn't really recommend because it's very obvious. The best thing to do is go out and get Velcro, double sided Velcro, and just sew that in. Okay, so without blabbing too much, I'll actually start the process. Now I'm going to be skipping ahead on some parts, uh, like if I'm just starting to sew away or cut something, because I don't think you want to sit here for like five minutes watching me, you know, cut out a pocket or something. So first thing I do is I'm going to take my old jeans. Now these are old raggedy jeans that are torn apart. I would normally I donate a lot of clothes. This I wouldn't donate. It's really stained and it's in really bad shape. The knees are completely gone and well, it's not very good. But what's good on every old pair? The pockets, right? So what you want to do here is you don't want to just take your scissors and cut out the pocket because that defeats the whole purpose of the pocket. The pocket has really good stitching around the sides and the top and especially near the entrance that has this nice thick part here and we're going to want that because that's what's going to hold it in here from ripping out and the such. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to start from the crotch here and go around the outside. So I'm going to do it and I'll show you okay. So a tip while I'm doing this is you want to look from the inside, not the outside. Because from the outside you can't really see too well. And what you'll just end up doing is cutting holes in the pocket and defeating the whole purpose. So you just want to cut away the pair of scissors. Uh, what you'll need for this whole thing is uh, the pair of scissors, obviously, old pair of jeans, or some form of pouch. Uh, I recommend something cloth. Don't go leather or anything like that because uh, cloth it'll be soft. If it's empty, you won't feel it. It'll just be on your head and you'll just be enjoying a nice soft pillow. If you have leather or something, there'll be a leather lump in there. Um, this pillow that I have here is one of the soft uh, bean filled ones that you can get from Walmart. I got mine from, uh, where did I get mine? I got this one from North uh, 49, which you can get as well. They're very, very easy to find and they're easy to get. They're just the pill ones. Um, I recommend getting the ones with the little hook here. The, this guy right here. So that way you can attach it to a backpack, um, a larger device that carries your um, you know, your sleeping bag and such if you have one of them. Just kind of uh, you know, tag this on on the side of it or just put it right into your sleeping bag kit. Um, it will fit in there and this does compress quite nicely. <clears throat> so I'm almost done with the pocket here. Okay, so 
I just finished up with the pocket. It took me about, uh, it took me three minutes. So here, uh, you, what you'll see is the pocket itself, and on this side, you see the inside. So it's a nice pocket. So what you're gonna wanna do now is just take out the access. So from the outside, look here and take out what the access parts are. So what I'll do is I will do it first and then I will show you. So best way to do it is pretty much going, well, you already done the outside. At this point, it's safe to go on the inside. Just cut along the groove here of uh, where your hand goes in. Hopefully, if you're lucky, you have a straight pocket. If you have one of these fancy dancy ones that have like a half a moon, it's going to be a little bit more annoying and a little bit more obvious later on when you go to uh, sew everything together. And I'll show you what I mean. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it like the half moon so it's as even as possible. And I'm going to cut right sideways here because I don't want metal and I don't want too much access material. Access material kind of works against you. So cut, 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 and there we go. So, so I'm going to keep it like this. So I have my pocket here, like here, here, if you want to make sure it's enough, take something that you're going to put in it and put it in. And there you go. See, it's going to hold my phone. Uh, my phone is a Galaxy S4, so it's a rather large one. It'll hold my watch, it'll hold my rings, it'll hold whatever I put in it. So I'm just going to take this stuff and put it to the side. And I'm going to get my sewing kit, which is right beside me. So, well, it's already here, so I don't have to worry about that. So best place to cut a hole here. Sorry about that. Best place to cut a hole in this is actually along the seam. Is actually along the seam near this guy, because if I do have anything accidentally in it, um, it's going to, like, and I'm carrying it around, it's not going to fall out. It's going to be up here. This is genuinely the top part right here, and also. Um, it's the part that when I'm walking around, I'll be carrying it by. So yes. So just to make life easy, do it up there. That way you don't have any issues at all. Sorry, Will is really excited. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go get myself a sharp, small knife because I just want to slice in here. I don't want to tear everything apart. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the best thing to use obviously would be an X-Acto knife or a uh, scalpel or um, uh, an artist's knife, something that has a very, very, very sharp point. I'm going to use my, my kitchenware, my favorite here because I actually don't have any around me currently. So I'm just going to go from here, uh, on this corner right here from the such, and just go down here along this kind of crease fur line here. This will also help to mask the um, uh, mask the slit when I sew it up, and it's also going to make it easier. So what I want to do here is I don't want to cut it the entire length from here to here. I don't or here to here. Sorry, I want to do it more here to here. I want to just have enough room for my cell phone to fit in or your wallet, whatever is the biggest thing you're going to put in here. So my biggest thing is going to be my phone, because I don't carry my wallet out with me when I'm going to these places. If I have anything, I have a card or two, and my keys, and my phone, of course. So I'm gonna take my phone here, and I'm gonna use my phone as a reference. So as I'm cutting, I want to put my phone pretty, or have pretty much a little bit bigger than my phone. And the reason for that, again, is you want to really reinforce the sides and you want it to pinch so it's like this so you know it's nice and flat you have a lot of structure so it doesn't fold into itself you want to really um, ensure that it has a really nice uh, attachment and the best way to do that is to have as much on each side to anchor it down um, it'll make life a whole lot easier so grab my little favorite way here I'm just gonna start slicing very very gently here so as you get all this, these beads here, you're gonna think to myself, maybe I should put a bag underneath me when I was doing this. 
You'd be a wise man. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to vacuum all this up afterwards. So yeah, I'm just slicing and slicing. Now I'm gonna test and see how much has come. Do I have enough? And the answer is yes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my pocket and simple as can be, put your hand into it and push it in. Just push it in nice and light. Don't stuff it in really fast or everything's gonna fly out. All these little balls are gonna be everywhere. So I just kind of push it in nicely. Make sure you don't lose too many balls. You don't wanna have a pillow, tactile pillow here with absolutely nothing. So get it in there nice. So it pretty much looks like, well, like this, you know, you're gonna have a lot of balls. <laughs> so now what you wanna do is you wanna grab your cable and thread. I have right here, I'm doing black because I'm black. There you go. And you're just gonna start stitching it up. So your first pass is going to be pretty, Onyx, don't, or Willow, don't sniff it up. Sorry, my cat's sniffing the little balls up. Go over there, go over there. So yeah, your first stitching is just going to be a quick one, okay? You just wanna get it in place. That way if you messed up anywhere, you can kinda of do a little snitch and readjust. So first thing I do is I'm just going to do a very quick and light stitching here. So I'll most likely skip ahead to when I'm done. Okay, so I'm pretty much done my first little one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna tie it up. So tie your first stitch with your final stitch. And then you're gonna test it out and kind of do a visual inspection of it. This is a good time if you have little balls everywhere just to vacuum it up. So let me vacuum up here and then we're gonna take a peek and see what it looks like so far. Okay, so <laughs> all the little balls are kind of cleaned up. So as you can see on my initial little guy here, you have the pillow, tactile pillow, and right here is the pocket. So it is lightly put together right now, but you can see I have a nice big pocket and I can fit my cell phone neatly into it. Well, I'll have to be a little careful right now because of my, uh, there you go, see, because I just did light stitching. But my phone is now in my tackle pillow. Nice and hidden. I can just push in more, but I don't want to dig it out right now. So out it comes along with a lot of little guys because they do come, come out with the silly thing. Like when you're patching it together, they go up and in. So now that you did your first initial one, and it's really important you do this first initial one because you can test it out, check the size, say, okay, I need a little bit more, so you clip it in a little bit more. Otherwise, um, if everything looks good like it does right now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to restitch over top of my current stitching, I'm gonna do it really fine. So very tight stitching, very, very close together around the entire thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and what that's gonna do is it's going to make it so you don't have little balls coming out and if um, you put something heavy in or you know over time it will not come apart you want this to last as long as humanly possible and it really should as long as you're um, doing a good job on your first initial stitch here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll see uh, what the next phase is so yeah, make sure you get yourself a nice long one. Make sure you get yourself, you don't need extremely good um, string, but you want something that's not dollar store, you know, just go into to, uh, a Michaels or a local um, like uh, hobby house or a uh, place that sells curtains and the such. Get yourself some decent uh, string. Um, you can get some thick, thick string. It works really well as well. Um, the only thing you don't want, though, is anything that uh, um, 
that will get wet and break, you know, so don't get yourself any synthetic thread that uh, is really low grade. So don't worry if you have string like this kind of dangling out. We're going to clean that all up afterwards. So now, I, like I said, I'm just going to head and I'm going to stitch very, very cleanly. So unlike the other, the last one, when you stitch this one up, you're going to close it initially, leaving yourself about five inches. Five inches of um, sorry of string from the bottom. That way you can tie it off at the end. But it also because you're tying it off here at the beginning, you're going to be able to put it quite uh, like going to be able to pull nicely and get a really tight stitch around the entire thing. So on your initial stitch, don't worry too much about it being perfectly tight. Um, your little tie off knot, because as you're pulling through the following holes. It's just going to pull the whole mess together and you're going to have a, a nice tight stitch anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so like I left myself about four inches and now I'm going to go around the edges as uh, tightly as I can. I have a pretty th pretty thick one here and long because, uh, well, you're going through jean. You're going to want something that, you know, won't destroy itself or, uh, you know, it won't be bending as you're trying to push through the holes. So, it's gonna be another one I speed zoo along through. And cut, and cut. So just make sure that uh, everything's cut. Now, may or not may, or sorry, may or may not be fully sealed. Uh, this is when the final process comes in. So, right now, I have my pocket right like this, and, you know, if it's like this, you don't really see it at all. Especially if it's under my head, you know, you're not going to notice this. You're not going to feel anything either. Um, because you have so many beans around, or little beads, they're going to surround the pocket, and whatever's hard is just going to be nothing. It's just going to be like a little lump, and you won't even feel it, especially if you're down this side, or if you're like this, like this. So my pocket right now is full of the little beads. Um, just turn upside down, take some compressed air, blow into it, or you can just shake it or whatever. Just Get the little beads out, and uh, you should be good to go. Now, there's two things you can do now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Gorilla Glue, and I'm going to show you, and I'm just going to put it around the lining on the outside here. This is two things. Gorilla Glue will expand and, like, merge into it. Like, it, it's really, really good with fabrics. Um, you, it just kind of gets really sticky, sticks into it, and then it expands a bit, and it creates like a, uh, like a, uh, well, like a nice gummy outside, so that when I go to push things in, I'm not going to push through the stitching. I don't have to worry about the stitching getting loose and coming out because it helps to bond it together. Uh, second thing you do is you can get the double-sided Velcro I told you about, or sorry, the the Velcro, the two strips there, and you sew it on the inside and on this side, on the inside and the inside, the other side so that it velcros together like this and you actually don't see anything. You can't tell that there's anything there. I'm going to leave mine open for now, um, but that's a good option. So that's how you convert a pillow into a tactile pillow. One that you can store things in, one that you can hide things in. Don't put food in there. Good lord, you don't want animals to come try to munch your head because you smell like a cheeseburger. Okay? And remember, always have it near the top so when it hangs, it hangs like this. See, it's hanging. Here's my pocket right here. So, foam right in the pocket. See, there you go. And my tactile pillow, and my phone goes all the way in. No phone. Can't steal my phone because it's under my head, and I don't feel it at all. You can even put vibrate on, and if you're out uh, with in the field or with your friends or something. You can actually just stick this on vibrate, sleep in your pillow, not wake anyone else up. It'll just vibrate right beside your head and wake you up. Or put light music on this. Put a little Walkman in here. Put whatever you want here. It'll play light music. Only you will hear it. That's another really good trick tip. And there's lots of things you can do with this. So I hope that helps out. And uh, definitely, I'm going to be making more videos, more along the lines of this. Um, and if you have any ideas or anything you'd like to see, please put below. 
Otherwise, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to have more and more videos of how to turn uh, everyday objects to make them more efficient, make them more um, convenient for you. Like, let's say if you're going camping or if you're outside uh, doing work or anything that would require you to have uh, a more efficient items to save your life or to make life easier. So thank you very much again.